Hi, I'm Greg Melanson, and this is Behind the Screen. Today, we're going to learn how point of purchase displays work. Specifically, we'll be looking at horizontal pusher displays seen on store shelves across the country. A pusher display is responsive to customers withdrawing a product from a shelf, like this. To ensure the row of products is ready for the next customer, a spring is constantly pushing on the whole row of products, pressing them forward towards the front of the shelf. But this job is more difficult than it seems. At the beginning, when there's a full row of products, if the force is too low, the next product won't slide forward for the next customer. However, if the force is too high at the end when only one product remains, then it's more difficult for a shopper to return a product if they decide not to buy. For the pusher display to work just right, the spring's force profile has to be perfectly tailored to be strong enough at the beginning and appropriately weak at the end of its working range. And how do we make these variable force springs work? Well, it's easy. One part 301 stainless steel, two parts magic, and a whole team of people crossing their fingers. And that's how point of purchase displays work. Thanks for watching. Just kidding! Several variables influence the force that these springs generate. One of those is the diameter of the coils, this dimension shown here. As you'll note, the diameter is variable, just like the name of the spring. Here's a pusher tray when viewed from the side. The spring presses against the paddle, which moves the products forward towards the front of the shelf. When the spring is pushing the last few products, the larger diameter is engaged. The diameter is inversely proportional to the force. This just means that the large diameter yields a small force. With only a few products left to push, this small force is exactly what we need. When there are a lot of products to push, the spring extends like this. With the spring extended beneath the products, the smaller coils, which push harder than the large coils, are active. Their larger force is just what's needed to push the long row of products forward. And that's how point of purchase displays work. Thanks for watching.